All right, what is going on guys? Hope you're all doing well. So, you've seen the title of this video, we're gonna be talking about fluorocarbon for pike fishing again. A little bit different in this video though. Um, normally when I talk about fluorocarbon, I talk about, you know, it's, it's you know strong enough for pike fishing and stuff like that. I don't really mention about whether it will catch you more fish than using over wire and things, um, because honestly, that's not really why I use it. I just think it's a superior leader material. We're not gonna talk about that today. We're gonna to talk about whether it does catch you more fish. So, yeah, we've got a bit of a different scenery in the bedroom today for some reason, so hopefully the lighting's all right in here. But yeah, I do get asked this question quite a lot, and it's not something that I've ever really known the answer to, like whether fluorocarbon outfishes wire, until recently anyway. Um, so, we're gonna, I'm gonna, I've got a bit of footage for the end of this video as well, but I'm gonna go over a couple of situations where I've been using fluorocarbon, um, other people have been using wire, vice versa, and yeah, explain the results of that because it is quite interesting, really. Um, but yeah, first off, you know, fluorocarbon, it's not for everyone. You know, a lot of the older guys in the uh, industry hate on it. Um, you know, I've used it for five years. Um, like I said, I think it's a superior leader material than wire, obviously. Super thick stuff, real fluorocarbon. This is the LMAB Japanese made, one mil thick, which is what you need. Um, really for your minimum diameter you know if you're using less than that it's not going to be up to the job really um it is super tough it's it's not mono it's different material but yeah that's not what the video is about so i'm going to stop, stop talking about that so does it catch you more fish than wire it's it's a question that a lot of people want to know the answer to i mean i've always been under the impression it's not going to make that much difference but we're gonna, i'm going to go over a couple of scenarios where it has made a big difference using fluorocarbon so First one, I just had to delete some stuff off my card because I've run out of memory, but yeah, first scenario. Went out boat fishing with a, another well-known pike angler. Um, I'm not mentioning his name, but you guys probably have to figure it out from the uh, from who I'm, how I say it anyway. Um, but yeah, I went out with this guy. He's he's against fluorocarbon leaders, so he was using wire leaders, titanium, 100 pound single strand titanium, I believe. We're both trolling from his boat. We're both trolling exactly the same lure at the exact same distance from the boat. I was using fluorocarbon, he was using wire. I, I had, I can't remember exactly, I think I had about 12 to 15 pike, and the other guy had about five in the same time. Same lure, same distance from the boat, both trolling, but I was getting so many more bites. It could have been to do with the fact that I was on the side of the river where the fish were, but you know, coming back down the river, went one way, went back the other way, still I was getting more bites. You know, the only variable was the leaders. So that got me thinking, you know, it's, like I say, over the years I've been using it, I've thought it's not really gonna make a big difference, but, you know, it got me thinking, it might actually be a thing that, you know, the fish look out for now, especially on pressured water. You know, here in the UK, we've got smaller waters. A lot of people fish for pike now. A lot of people lure fish now. So pike are gonna get wary of these things. Um, so yeah, that's the first scenario where I started to think, you know, maybe fluorocarbon does outfish wire, um, but yeah. Fast forward, that was like in September, I think. So fast forward to about well, last week, actually. Um, so I was using wire. I use I use wire with my lighter rod because um, I think the presentation is better. You know, this one mil thick leader. If I'm using you know 12, 14 centimeter baits, it's a bit too bit, bit too big, bit too thick. So I'll, I'll look for wire because I never thought wire, you know, would catch you less fish. Um, so I went boat fishing with my mate Matt. Both fishing pretty much exactly the same lures, you know, slightly different. You know, I think mine was 14 centimeter, his, his was a 12, you know, but I did keep switching lures all day. Um, four hours of fishing, Matt had 19 pike in the boat, I had four. The only difference between what we were doing was he was using fluorocarbon, I was using wire. So, you know, I didn't, I didn't even think that. I just thought, you know, maybe I'm just really bad at fishing today. But we were both doing the exact same drifts. He was picking two or three fish up on the drift. I'd get a nibble here and there. You know, the fish just were not biting my baits. And like I said, we were fishing exactly the same. Exact same style baits. But I wasn't getting the bites. So, got to about midday-ish. I was like, right, actually, I'm going to try fluorocarbon. You know, Matt's been using it all day catching fish. I switched to fluorocarbon. Second cast, I think I had a fish, and then I consistently started catching fish. Then 
and like I say, he was on 19, I was on four to up to that point. Then by the end of the end of the session, I think he'd got up to 26 fish and I was on 15. So, you know, I'd had 11 fish and he'd had seven fish. So actually after I switched to photo cam, I ended up out fishing him. So yeah, it just goes to show like the only variable on that day was that I was using wire, he was using fluorocarbon. I switched and I just started catching as regular as he was. Um, so yeah, that answers that question. Like I said, I've got some footage from that day, so you guys will be able to see. Um, I'll tr I'm not sure I'll be able to edit it where you can see that I'm not catching fish, but you just have to take my word for it. He caught a lot more, more than me before I put fluorocarbon on. Put fluorocarbon on and started catching, end up catching the biggest fish of the day as well. And yeah, I just thought I'd put it into a video. You know, I thought some of you guys might find it interesting. Like, like I say, I've never mentioned ever in a video that fluorocam catches you more fish because I've never had evidence of it myself. But now I've got two pretty good cases where it does. So yeah, take that however you want to take it. Obviously, if you hate fluorocarbon, carry on hating fluorocarbon. But if you have been curious about trying to use it, Make sure you get the good stuff. Don't get hard mono, get actual fluorocarbon. Thick breaking strain, at least 0.9 mil. Um, anything over a mil really is what you're wanting. And uh, yeah, I'll leave a link in the description to this anyway, so you can check it out. I'm gonna roll some fish fishing footage now, so you can see that, you know, well, I'll try and make it so you can see what happened anyway. But yeah, thought I'd make it into a video. Hope you guys enjoyed. And yeah, enjoy the fishing footage as well. So yeah, hopefully that's been helpful. Oh, no way. What is this today, man? Oh, it's because you're using fluorocarbon. You know, that legitimately could be that, couldn't it? Yeah. Daft as it sounds, like. Could well, could well be that, you know, from pressure. Fluorocarbon. Hmm. I don't know, probably usually stick it in. I have on tying it on and then we'll see. Yeah, that would be interesting though, wouldn't it? Yeah. Might as well. See what happens. That one's and all. Just drifting the bow with like three rods out. Yeah, yeah. yeah. first cast. Yeah. Fluoro, that is insane, isn't it? That it's is insane. It's got to be. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> you've got one as well. Oh, come on. Nearly had our first double. Oh, a better one as well. This is a better one as well. It's not monster, but it's a decent fish. It must be the fluoro. Tell you. No, it's not that big actually, but I will take that. That might be better. Fluorocarbon. It's got to be, hasn't it? Yeah. I'll say that now. It's got to <laughs> use wire all day. And I'd, well, for five hours and had six fish. Yeah, I've just had two in six minutes. <laughs> Ooh, that's the best one of the day. That, that's a 90. That's a nice fish. That's a nice fish. Uh, you had to well caught big time fluorocarbon line don't get your line in real quick Cheers. that's a nice fish Ooh, that's a nice fish told you I was going for that big one oh Lightly hooked though. Really tugging now. Whoa. Yes. I'll just leave that for now, I think. It's nearly ready. You ready? You ready? You ready? You ready? Nope.
That's a nice fish. Yeah, man. I think it's a meter or anything, but it's a uh, big in first place. Yes. <laughs> yes. Really powerful as well. Nope. Oh, yep. Oh, that's uh -oh. a nice fish. Oh, that's a nice fish. Yes, yeah, there we is. go. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. Nice fish. Yeah, mid double at least. Mm -hmm. <sighs> yeah, you keep fishing now. Fluorocarbon. <laughs> that's so crazy. Never would have thought. I always tell people I don't use fluorocarbon because of the clarity and that, but maybe I'll change my mind on that now. Fluoro carbone, and there goes the fish. I can get a picture of it. Well done. Because I just got a hole in it. <laughs> I know. This is missed all of it. That's annoying, isn't it? Yeah. Only reason I got the lure out of the net so I could get a good picture of it. There's another. Yes. Running up me again. Fluoro carbon, isn't it? That? Definitely. That's not a bad one either. Need a touch. There we go, same bait. Decent fish. Stamp's definitely better, isn't it? Yeah. Can't get better for me this day, can't it? <laughs> Come in, buddy. There we go. First cast, drunk dancer. No way. The so, same. Come in, buddy. Had eight fish. There we go. Number nine. <laughs> Straight on the start of the drift again. Yeah. In the same place as last time. Not even that bad either. Yes. Little dude. Well, you know, this bait works on here then, that's yeah. cool. I'm a bit nervous of putting something on that's not a shad. But, um, yeah, it works. Oh, we oh, took it again. Yes. <laughs> yes. Good lad coming back for it, bud. That was cool to watch. Missed it and just came back. Yeah, got a throat full of a live larvae there, so that's what they're eating. You know what, the, the flies are hatching off. Oh, yeah. See them? That's mad. Sure a little thing take them in, Yeah. That's crazy, that. So that's how they, they're sustaining themselves with no bait fish then. Yeah, well, that's it. <laughs> crazy. Alright guys, so there you have it. Fluorocarbon versus wire. Certain situations, obviously, um, it's not going to matter, you know, when the fish aren't pressured or anything, but, yeah, on these two particular occasions, on these two particular venues, the, um, yeah, <laughs> made a massive difference. So it was kind of, I've just edited that now, it was kind of hard to show, like, um, the flur, like, me using wire before because it was literally just me not catching fish so i didn't want to put like loads of that footage in so i just put i've put a few catches in so you can see you know you can hear us talking anyway about it you know we're not making it up so yeah hope you guys enjoyed that anyway something a little bit different like i said i'll put a link to the fluorocarbon in the in the description make sure you get the thick stuff not all fluorocarbon is pipe proof you know if you're using five six ten twenty pound stuff you you are going to get bitten off you know the thick stuff is yeah strong so yeah i hope you guys enjoyed make sure you like subscribe share do whatever you normally do and yeah catch you in the next video